very good day again, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, behind me is the uh, live world statistics for the uh, COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> if you've been following me, I've been using this Royal Royal Loves uh, statistics to monitor the uh, ongoing pandemic. Also, if you noticed uh, earlier on, I, uh, I was suggesting to wear a mask even before government and everybody else uh, asked you to wear a mask. I was already suggesting to everybody to wear the mask. Isolation and suggesting that this is not a normal case of novel coronavirus. Remember now we had we had coronavirus all throughout the past hundred years and why is it that only now we have this type of coronavirus that has been I suggested manipulated a mutation somewhere on one of the uh, uh, sequences made this uh, virus, a uh, modified virus that really is a killer. Now, I was suggesting this because of this situation wherein the uh, virus has been uh, manipulated, that this has become a terrible act of terrorism. And I suggested that this was uh, some type of a military grade virus. And I postulate that this is now bigger than World War One, bigger than World War Two, and now this is, I guess, World War Three. The only problem is your enemy is invisible, and since like it is invincible, there's no cure for this right now. And even if you have a vaccine coming out, it will just be a short-lived vaccine because. Mutations along the way. The problem with viruses like this is the fact that they mutate. Once you have something that you think you already have a vaccine for that, it mutates, and that vaccine that you just formulated will now be obsolete. That's the reason, up to now, you don't have anything uh, that could combat uh, this virus. The only proven solution right now is caution washing hands, this one, as I said, and uh, isolation. And if you have to go out, please observe uh, your distancing. As I told you before, even while talking, you are producing droplets, and it can stay there for, the, for at least seven minutes. And if you're passing by, you catch that if you don't have a mask. So let's go back again to why I said this is uh, weaponized uh, uh, virus. It's because the pattern, if you're an uh, epidemiologist, you study all this. And when I was in school, there were, we were told about chi-square, null and void, and, uh, and, and uh, factors that makes it a pandemic and the mode of transmission, the virus virulence, and uh, everything else that goes along with it. And I noticed that it does not have the same pattern as, as most viruses would do. Previous coronavirus experiences did not go to this extent to become, you know, uh, resistant to weather temperature and mode of transmission transmission and uh, I noticed earlier on that if you were to follow the progression of the uh, infection all throughout China and all the rest of it it did not offer you consistency in the pockets of, of infectious in regions that you would have thought it would never appear in that area so now let's go to the fact that most of the infections right now are 
in isolated areas. Thank goodness for the uh, 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 isolation and uh, uh, social distancing and quarantine. It produces some, but not not uh, the results that we are intending to do because there would be pockets of infection in areas that you would thought there would be no infection. So we cannot blame one particular country for all this. There were several countries involved in this and there were several very very rich people who were involved in this and if you notice on the chart from the Royal Lab the total number of cases I said is World War or World War three because it's almost five million five million cases and look at the number of deaths three hundred and twenty three thousand and counting and you have uh, 1.9 million recovered so if you look it's about one-third recovered from the uh, infection and then there's 218 territories involved more than more than world world war one and more than world war two so this is world uh wide and uh, if you look at the chart here, the United States has 1.5 million cases and 93,000 deaths. It's probably going to be more than 100,000 next month. I'm sure about that. And then all these countries, and if you look at Russia, Brazil, and even uh, Italy, which was devastated earlier on, are also right there with 32,000 deaths. China, the mainland China, which was the first country to report about this uh, deadly pandemic, has uh, 4,600 deaths, that's all. So we will continue to report on this one as it goes along all throughout the map but I in my own humble medical opinion the the thing that would uh, would make this alleviate in terms of cases and when this pandemic slows down and goes down to almost zero is when the social isolation has not been breached because right now some states and some uh, ignorant people or seemingly the attitude of being it's not in my backyard it's not in my household so why should I care that kind of attitude I told you before in my previous blogs that will kill you now what I'm saying right is that by June it will taper down a bit and by July it will somehow ebb down the number of cases and it will go back again comes November or December or even before December and uh, there we go again additional nine deaths 194 uh, new cases and 108 recovered just in the seconds ago so all I can say is sometimes do not believe what you're or I used to say that hey the government is your sole source of information okay the best way to do things and be cautious about all this thing because infection can be be from it will come from nowhere practice your social isolation and be mindful of what other people are doing especially if you're outside do not touch too many things from objects to yourself to your face wash your hands 
frequently for at least 25 seconds 20 25 seconds and also this you have uh, uh, now it's mandatory in some or all places to wear your mask whereas before I was the only one I guess advocating for a mask well still some at this time don't want to wear a mask but Oh, I'm sorry. Something happened to my camera. So now let's wrap this thing up. Number one, even before people said to wear masks, I did that already. Even before people said that there will be no cure for this uh, virus, I said that vaccine, if ever, or or or. or a cure for this uh, uh, for this pandemic there is none and I don't think there will be one coming up and if there is one that comes up it's only going to be partially uh, effective and the mind you folks as I told you before this is World War three the only thing is your enemy is invisible and it comes from all places and it, it will hit you from nowhere but in the meantime be safe check in my my uh, reviews and sometimes I told you in one of my uh, blogs that I will reveal the source or sources of this infection what you're thinking is not it's not the one that you really are thinking right now so what I'm saying is that be safe, practice your uh, uh, caution in everything you do, outside or inside the house. And goodbye, be, take care of yourself. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.